our team welcome back uh, we have another couple of sessions left on github with jenkins and docker with selenium how do we do this yesterday we were talking about not fork projects this is forking the projects how we install git on eclipse how we did push our code into our github repository so we did a bunch of things there right so we created a java project added source code then we connected our project to github using theme option and then we were able to do commit and push the code to the remote repository all right, so let's see what was the drawing yesterday, something on this. Okay, I think we were talking about local repository and remote repository, still applicable to a certain aspect of what we were doing, um, what we'll be doing in today's. So in your local repository is here, and it's primarily maintained using your Git uh, library team. Why is this not working? Second. So your local repository is in your local machine and you don't necessarily have to look at git and git commands because there are softwares that will interact with git at the end of it. So you don't have any collaboration with others. Once it becomes a remote repository, then you are able to collaborate with others and make common changes to it. Let's look at Eclipse, what we did there, team. All right. So we created a couple of repositories, and this is Git 2 and my Git Java project. Now, these specifically, if I right click and say where it is in my local machine, show in System Explorer. It will tell me where it has put these two repositories team. So git2 and my Java project one are under this test rep one. Do you see this folder team? Now this test rep one is the one that we are accessing. Now whatever plan we wrote, this was done on GitHub. We've got that file here. The same data whatever we see here we should now be able to see in um, github account team so let's go into our github.com and make sure what is there um at least this is the one we were looking at all right there we go these are the three files git2 source git2 and then project1.java this is the one that is there what was the other thing nothing what is this nothing here i don't know maybe create something offline we'll see now team very important so for you to get the good perspective this is the url for my entire project this is where this project is you could all start to copy this into your machine and execute the same code and you could change that code from your end and put it back here so i see two contributors right now let me see i don't think any of you on the live webinars is putting an effort right now team i would really request you to do it there is no one else except for my own accounts from both the sides so how did we do this team so that you're well aware of it let us say git to uh, do you know why you cannot see nothing in there this file that we put nothing why can't we see it in the remote repository in github no problem brian i mean slowly start picking slowly start practicing on the back end and it will improve as we keep showing 
no it's not permission uh, to modify txt i've created this local file here you be very careful on the words that i'm choosing to use what i'm trying to say so locally i've created this if i want to put it in my remote repository on github I'm sorry. It should be out here. The reason it did not go is I have not committed on this code and pushed this code. What is the difference between commit and push anyone? What does commit do? What was what does push do? What does pull do? We will talk about merge later. Commit basically creates a timeline of your files any changes are saved you can revert creates a timeline of any changes are saved. push okay any changes are saved locally in your local repository push is after you commit to that commit is your commitment like we talked about english commit after we commit we are asking as to what do we want to do next we want to then say push the code to remote repository once we push the code there the code gets accessible for all project contributors or even observers whoever want to observe this project pull is the owner slash admin of the remote github remote repository wants to accept and pull your code into the main branch could be master or whatever we can be the concept about branches is nothing but we want to try a few things okay so now what will we do so I've created a new file called nothing. Let's put one more line into it, second line for it. And I'll just save it here. To you. It all saves my local machine in the directory which I just showed here. And that is fine, it will be here. How do I push it? I right click on it. You can do the entire project if you want. And go to team and say commit. So when you say commit, it will come to the git staging section where it talks about what are the changes that it, notice, that it notices and you can then decide to push this code. How do we do that team? We'll say this one from unstaged, I primarily move it into staged like dragon. If there are multiple files, you can do all of them at the same time. And say why or what you're doing, adding a new doc in local repository. Commit at this point will only commit the code locality. It has not pushed it. So if you go back and look at it, it still may not be appearing here. I'm just trying to refresh this. At this point, if I right click again say team i can either do push or we can click on commit whatever commits we had we could push all of them where is this let's just push it right click team push branch master so we were always pushing it to master and you can also say push to upstream whatever is the latest branch that is active it will work so let's just say push and do you see this progress on the bottom right where it says the person age increasing and it gives us a message saying what has happened and so on 
from master to master adding a new doc in local repo that is the commit message that we gave pushed to test rep one repository is here so looks like it is done it is also done because i have access to this project At this point you will see nothing has come here new file adding a new doc and locally no i can have bunch of files team not necessarily one program a whole framework with whatever i want i can always push that code into a central repository on github when others want to work on it how do you do it yes we can make it private and so on but how do you contribute to it so let's look at that and i want your participation to do this everyone can hear me okay because i got one message saying there's no audio in session so pinky uh, i'm going to make you present uh, would like to see the issue that you have plus also what you are progressing on let's go first mm -hmm. there we go everyone Are you speaking? Uh, yeah, okay. I got it. Can you hear me? Yes, I can now. So, Karthik, I have made uh, uh, this package, uh, uh, like my Git Java project. This is your, I think, uh, your end uh, project in Eclipse. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I able to like uh, download it uh, in my machine, and uh, you have uh, uh, like uh, there are uh, uh, there is your test one. Hmm. And I have created one more uh, test to one more program. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was trying to, uh, like I modify your thing as well because you are the main branch, right? Mm -hmm. So you're in. So, and uh, while I'm doing, while I'm pushing my this uh, test to dot Java, it's showing me an error. So let me show you. So this is my, and I have created one branch X. So can, uh, you can hear, uh, uh, I think you can able to see here. Mm -hmm. So the branch X, and if I do like push, so this is your side of uh, uh, your link. Yes, your repository. Now preview. So, okay, back. Yes, so it is showing me this uh, the error box. Uh, the error box can connect to any URL, the GitHub.com, mm. so which uh, you have provided yesterday. There so it's not it's not able it, to connect. Why does it say? Does it read anything else? No, in the message itself, what we uh -huh. were saying can't so, connect. Yeah, can and connect. Yes, yes. Part, no, 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 the message itself. Team, a lot of times we don't look at the details. Does it say anything else apart from can't connect any other English that is there? Can you read those three lines? Uh, Eclipse test get receive part not permitted on oh pack not permitted on http github.com karthik eclipse test. I don't get this thing, so I don't understand. Yeah, so I think uh, it it says that uh. It's not permitted from your side. I'm not sure about it. Because it is still, it is a but number one, it is my repository. You need to do a concept called fork before oh, you can okay. contributing to it. Oh, okay, 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 got it, got it, okay. You cannot, it is telling you, you see in the second line that git receive pack not permitted on yes. git and so on. Yes, yes, yes. If you're part of my project, I associate you with, with my project. At that time, you should be able to do that. Right oh. now, you cannot do it directly. 
but there's something else that will be a little interesting. Can you uh, show me your Git account? GitHub account, sorry. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is my GitHub account. Go, so you've signed in, correct? Yes, I have already signed in. Now go to my um, GitHub URL, please. My GitHub URL is where? Do me one favor. Just copy your URL and put it in the chat for me. Okay. Yeah. Sure. And. I did a project, right? GitHub, the one you were trying to push the code to. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so uh, I need that you want to put here. Yeah, just give me a second. I've muted you. I'll make you present your office. Okay, got it. Yes, Kartik, I have sent you my that GitHub account. Now, can you open my repository on GitHub? That where yes. you trying to push? Sure. I think this one is your. Okay, good. So how how did you do it? You cloned or downloaded? You took this URL and it got it for you, correct? Because it's right. a thick repository. Right. Now click on fork for me. There's a top right. You see that fork icon. Yeah. In GitHub. Besides watch star, okay, you're trying to play upon that. Go to webinar. Right. Now, this is the process where it is taking my project and forking it onto your machine, into your GitHub, not your machine, please. Okay. As, okay. Now, take this URL into your local Eclipse. Mm -hmm. This is so basically team master branch is my branch it's a, it's a public repository anyone can watch it if you have access to it then you can push and i can pull it if you don't have access to this you can fork it Fork basically takes a project as is and then you continue to play on it yourself and then you say Karthik, do you want this fork? Do you want to merge it with the original thing that we did? Very good. Now take this URL. Let's go to Eclipse, please. Yes. Or you can also click on that green button, clone or download. That also is fine. Either oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. Here it will just say dot .git. No, don't download zip. Do not do that. You don't need that. You need just the URL for now. Okay, I already pasted it. And uh, do you want me to open my Eclipse, right? Yes, please. And let's. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Uh, let's. Okay, what is this? Um, it's Mac. Can you open a new project? Let me try it on my end also. So basically, you're creating a new Java project. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to put this URL for it. Fork it from there. Oh, okay. All right, got it. So I ah, there you go. Okay. So here, actually, if you look at all right, keep going. Mm -hmm. Finish. <laughs> yes, right click, go to team. Let's not do anything else here. 
Oh, uh, so uh, no need to create class. No, why? What class do you want to create? Okay, okay, okay. So demo, right click and let us write. Correct. Oh, team. Team. And say share project. Okay. It's already coming in from there. Repository. Okay. Yeah. So I paste it here, right? Okay. Uh, this will be your local one. Where so, it is. Uh, uh, this one is my local one. And uh, do you want me to paste your one, right? It's so that will be different. This is your Git repository on your local machine. Where that where the files will get stored. Use any of this Git keys. That's fine. Or you can say create. Either is fine. Okay. And then finish. Yeah. So now it basically has assigned itself so that Git can start working on it. Now right click on that again, demo one. It's now linking it up. Let's go to team. Mm -hmm. And let's say, uh, ting, ting, ting. Okay, let's go to commit itself. Actually, we need to, what are we doing for project and it's getting a little confused. Um, GitHub for project. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, click on commit, please. It'll show us. So these are the ones that we want to commit and push. Where do we want to push them? So try and move this unstaged changes to staged. What is there? Okay. And um, did we connect our remote. So let's connect our remote also. And just made this is just the Git. So it be syncing it up with that. Okay, right click, where is the remote? Um, go to your Git repositories. Do you see the tab before Git staging? Just a tab up on the body as yes, Git repositories. Um, do you see the remote under references? Yeah. Yes. Right click on it. And say create. create. No, cancel one, sorry. Right click. In paste repository. Try this. Yeah. So now you've got your Eclipse test. Is this the one? Mm -hmm. And your credentials. Say next. Yeah, I'm getting a master from the forked repository. Next. So Arctic has the main repository. Inky has taken a forked version of it, like a copy, and she is going to be doing her changes and try and submit it back. The user stated is not an empty directory. Uh, so oh, just okay. so there is a dot, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. no, not just about it. It's just saying something else there because we created earlier already. Get so that's fine. Try with the dot. Yeah, it's not working. Yeah, it'll not work like that. So it's click on, click on the browse button right next to the directory. Yeah. Uh, save as Eclipse test. Uh, this say Eclipse test two. Save. Yeah. Okay. It's configured. Yeah. So Finish? this is locally. Wait one second. So this is Git on your local machine. Mm -hmm. Say, Git repository, whatever you get finding on github.com, remote repository, it has to download that onto a local machine. From master, initial branch to our remote name as origin. Uh, so remote name there is origin. So go. Now we can click on finish. And please expand demo one. What if, whatever you were doing, which is the one project you created? I have created in some other folder, not in here. Mm -hmm. You just created a project. Now, what is the name of it? Uh, the demo one. Ah, okay, so expand it, please. Yeah, uh, there is nothing inside. Uh, just the demo. There is no uh, program inside it. 
it should come because you forked it and we just connected our git that is what i'm trying to see how come it's still not there right click right. on it. no one please Make right sure click on. Correct. yeah so what? try in on the remotes what happened to the remotes mm. Oh. Mm. Remote. Right click. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm not one second in this. Bunch of things happening at my end. <clears throat> what I'm saying. We already pasted, right? What did it yeah. say? Yeah, we already uh, done with this uh, the remote, but I'm not but able it, to see anything. That, okay, right click and refresh once. Move on. Uh, the demo. I'll take control of the mouse, please. One second. Yeah. All right, let me see. So I'm going to right click on the project that I'm working with, and I want to see what is happening here overall. So there's so many things we are doing, correct? I just want to hit a refresh to see if there's anything that is coming from there and so on. Now, I did set it up, but there's a cross mark here. Do you see? Your screen somehow is very small dimension for me. <laughs> yeah. Me dimension, change view scale, zoom to 150%. Okay, now I'm able to see. Now, why am I here? Are you sure this is the one? Yeah. No, I can't see. Go down. Team. Fetch from upstream. So basically, we have not pulled anything yet, team. We have to do that initial pull of all the files that are there from the remote to our local pulling see details for more information remote origin did not advertise a reference for branch branch x where did this branch x come from remote origin did not advertise reference for branch x that's a problem we don't see this let me recreate this so file new project <coughs> and let's see if it is there All right, so right click and let's go to team and air project. Let me see if I can go to uh, t -t 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 Create and use any one or any one. I will call this as four one. Finish path, path within depository. That's fine. That's fine. Finish this. This is my local. Okay, so, what am I doing? Right click and Team <laughs> remote which some 
that's the project that's your post your default values are here and say next and this is my source reference being master and this is destination my local um what is there why is it not coming we need to give let's say my master and so there's also a force update if there is anything to do with a little bit on merging or making sure of consolidation then so now it is trying to fetch from this master new branch let's see what happens if there's anything that's coming across Refresh F5. Why is it still not coming? We forked it correctly. Team remote fetch from so and so next source reference. Let's say head. Why is this not coming? Destination reference. Update specification. What if I want to automatically follow tags? Never fetch tags even if this should happen, team. This should not take this is the main one. Last step. Source reference to destination. Master is the branch there. I think yeah, the value has to come here. So. Mm, locally. I have to see it here. Let me try on my machine once. Sure, Karthik. Yeah. You sent this on chat, correct, Pinky? Yeah, I have sent my. Where? I don't see it. One second. Got it. <clears throat> Let me try and be the presenter. So that's the same activity that we're trying to repeat right now. Okay. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now let's finish that portion. So here is your. So I basically cannot go and do anything much because it's your project unless I log in as you and so on. Or I can fork this project to one of my folders here. Once it is forked, I have the URL prepared for it. Let us see if we can extract those files. So it has come to github.com Karthik was ready. GitHub. This is the one. If you notice here, team, it says fork from Pinky Said. She's the originator of this repository. So globally, we can have a lot of people who are working on our repositories team. Um, who can fork it from what we're doing and try and further improve it. Now what we're doing is this is fork, this is my URL. So I'll say clone or download. This is there. So just get this copy it. I go to Eclipse and I'm going to create a new, let us say, project. And it's a Java project for me, but Actually, I'm, I'll try and import projects from Git next. Existing local repository or clone the URI. So there's there's nothing existing in my local machine for this. So I'm going to clone the URI. This is the one that we wanted. I believe it has my default details. I'm getting my master. And locally, it is going to put it here. I can change this. My initial branch is master. My remote name is origin. So that is where I think we were seeing a little issue at your end. Somehow it didn't happen correctly. But we were stuck. Now it is trying to work on this. Import existing Eclipse projects and say next. 
and finish. Let's observe if it is downloading anything out here. Too. Is this your code, um, Pinky? Can you hear me? Where are the attendees? I guess we're on mute. Can you confirm if this is your code, please? Uh, no, Karthik, this is your code. Oh, then where was the repository? This was your repository. What do you have here? Java. That is your repository only. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. Oh man, I, I almost painted. I thought, what? Are no, you? Sorry, sorry. No problem. I got confused actually. I have made so many programs, so yeah. No. So package. What is wrong with this? Hmm. I don't know why it's not recognizing a lot of these. Uh, there is no. System library. You see that? I don't know how come it's not there in your project as a regular one. I see this. Before. <laughs> so let's try and do it on my one team because this definitely, but someone else has to fork it then. <clears throat> I didn't get everything out here. Maybe it's still doing refresh. Uh, fetch some. So whatever is there, I'll try and fetch from it. It'll search, no reference. Everything up to date, close. But let us say, for example, I'll add a new statement. JK added this, right? And I save it as is. Now, this code I can check in. And I can say, team, commit this code. And I want to push this, change this. And I'll commit and push. Now it's pushing it to can't connect to any repository details. Um, not from git receive pack not permitted on. Can't connect to any repository. Why you won't can let me connect to my own repository? Push to GitHub origin has encountered a problem. Can't connect to any repository, not permitted. Mm. And observe where it's going right or wrong. Commit? Actually, I got the same error. Mm. Because, see, this folder itself, I'm not, look at all my other folders. You have a JI system library, the way it is. I don't like the folder itself to begin with. It does not look. Um, let's try. It's a new Java project. This is what for real set. And on this project, right click and team share project user create and parent configure repository path. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. <clears throat> Import. Let me go here. All these projects are fine. Just there's some problem with that specific one. Uh, I need some assistance from your site team. Otherwise, I'll have to create a couple of them and do it myself and import it again. Clone URI. Okay, that's next. Master next. Next. 
uh, it's not an empty directory. Yeah, that's fine. Then use it. Next. Good projects. It's uh, so basically, we have to do it a little bit more neater team. It's not happening. Let me go to my repository and let's do it back. In. So where were we with our repositories as dead test one was there, right, everyone? Did anyone fork this? I can see there's one person who forked it. Let's see who did it. I did it myself from another account, so no point. Now, as dead test one is there, this is just files. There is Eclipse project. Let's do it again. I'm going to create a new one. Workspace, switch workspace. I don't want to switch. So new Java project, git fork. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want anything else. I just want a simple code like this there. So you go to source, right click, say new class. Put Next one, run this code. Next, this is my entire local project. Now, how do I put this into GitHub team? So basically, I am connecting this. I can use any existing repository that is there, or I can put that into a new one, create a new Git repository, git for one, and say finish. Now, basically, there's a local Git to it. And at this point, I don't want to see anything else. Only this is of interest for me. I don't want to see anything beyond this. Let me close all. Test one for Java. Let's rerun this. That's my code. That's good. Now, right click and let's talk about uh, remote. And say, uh, what we didn't connect this right yet. Mm, ting, 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 ting. I'm trying to show you in a specific way, and I'm not able to do it. Uh, I've not created a Git repository here yet. So, if I create a new Git repository, then team remote fetch from. We didn't give anything here. Mm, new plus. As a four test one public create repository. Copy this URL back to our eclipse mm, team fetch from. For test one, okay, there's nothing in it. But at least I'm trying to put these things. Almost the same issue is coming here, see? There's no branches itself. Add create update file. Source reference is nothing. Destination reference is nothing. Uh, hi, Karthik. Uh, this Hello. is Kiran. Uh, can we try forking uh, my project that I did on my account? <laughs> yeah, but I'll just try and finish this or we'll do it on yours tomorrow, please, once. Okay. We'll look at once, definitely. Oh, thank you. Not 
finishing, it will still done here. So I'm going to go to theme and then let's merge this with my local. Mutra, I can comment, comment a little bit fast forward. Uh, there's nothing right now to watch. That's the problem, sir. But I have this code. Let's try to run a theme and then commit. Let's do that. Oops. So here are all those files. Drop to changes. I'll say first commit. Commit and push. Origin. Master. So this will go in. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, for test one, get this fact not permitted. I'll test this team. There's something going with uh, this. The same message, Pinky, you're also saying. Yes, Karthik, I got the same message. Mm, but this is this I'm trying to do it on my own repository. I think there is a problem. Wait one second. This would be incorrect. See, this URL is different and the credential I'm giving is different. That is the main reason. There's nothing else D. <clears throat> okay, Karthik proceeded D and that is different. Uh, I'll have to log in as that. Sign out. Oh, what would the password be? <laughs> Let me try. Mm, it's the same thing. Actually, ID is the same. F and G. For test one, tit -tit -tit, remote name. Next, destination. Master, first commit. we pulling merge. Rebase preventing merge commits. Let's try rebase first. I'm going to look at this at my end team. Uh, it should be a very simple one with access itself that I'll try and do it here. Then my yes. Can we? Can I make you the presenter, please? Oh, yeah, sure, Carl. Can you see my screen? Uh, one second, sorry. Ah, uh, yes, I Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry. Well. Yes, so this is the one uh, that I did on my account, GitHub account, can't you? Okay. And uh, can we go to the source folder? You put this is how did you get this? This you didn't fork this, correct? No, I didn't fork it yet. And how how did you get this code? Uh, I just uh, did it from my uh, the the existing one that I had. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I just did this. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. And. Um, now, are you able to fork my project that we created? Uh, I haven't tried it yet, Karthik. Uh, uh, Let's I try that once. I'll give you the URLs. Okay. Uh, which are the ones that I have? Let's I see. think I have it. This is yours, right? That's correct. It's just as ours. So let's try this at your end. Okay. Now you can fork on the right side. This one. Uh, you see the fork icon. Watch star yes. fork. Yeah. Yes. So it's popping that onto your remote deposit right now. All right. Okay. Now click on the 
clone or download copy that url mm -hmm. go yes. to eclipse in yes. file new or not new but file import and we'll say git under this it's a projects from git the first one mm -hmm. say next please right click oh, okay sorry yes yeah, next clone uri clone uri is fine there's no existing local repository so is this the uri i think this is the one yeah this is mine i got it very nice so yeah let's call this so master is what we're getting brand mm -hmm. select that's good so click on next to origin that's good next you should pull everything from there you go your local next let's finish nice can you open that project only for me oh this is my project kartik i don't see yours there are so many that you have so many projects <laughs> you know where is my project uh you start with the top first by scrolling only half the way yeah there now slowly keep going down after ch what is the ch 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 keep going keep going keep going keep going wait wait what is the name of the project that you added um my project uh, is this one kathi expand and see if that is the one it says eclipse test one master i think that is the one no the one before that expand that my git java project yeah go to the source in that why are you coming under that to other source i didn't understand why are you going there um, just stay in your project na why are you going to the other ones uh, kiran i don't want you to go through this src and all this can you give me a, give me controls please for a second one visually do not make it hard on ourselves team It'll be almost impossible is this important for you right now um no close it is this important for you right now if not close it now we can only stick with what we want please especially when you have too many projects which is the one i'm assuming my git java project one use keyboard lot of times team just not mouse always now is test one dot java the right code yes it yes. is now you have created the fork successfully so this is perfect this is how quickly we could have done it very nice so can you add one line here so i will do it here one second and i will say and we'll save it in your local and we're going to execute this now the same test it's got one more now what i will do on my project we'll right click go to team say commit and it'll also we can push it now this will go automatically should go into where into my repository or yours it will only go into yours right now so close just uh, check your github please go to the source folder in it so folder yes this is not the one this is the one 
okay but uh, it's not yet go to your eclipse once is it done in eclipse uh, it seems so how are you sure um, go to your eclipse no, please not. okay Uh, finish the commit and push here. Now, right click on this bit. See, it says Eclipse test one. Okay. Show me the right repository, please, in your GitHub. I don't think that is the correct repository. Maybe just see which is the one okay. in GitHub. GitHub? Yes, please. Okay. Um, Go to is, CQ. How do you know that Eclipse test is the one? Go to CQ and see if there are other projects. Is it Eclipse test hyphen one or Eclipse test? This is uh, for, for one. So see how many small mistakes we can make. Uh, did you see that, Kiran? You are assuming that this is the one, right? It was yes. the wrong project earlier. It was so, not a test. It was seed Q slash Eclipse test hyphen one. And go to the source pack one in that. Yeah, you'll see the difference in this as to what you added into it. So there are a few more things I'll show you tomorrow, but your code is now. So you're making a fork and you're going in that direction as of now. So now okay. let me please see what is happening to this. Which is the one you took the fork? Let's see. Let's test one more thing. I see two forks. Mm. Now it's making better sense. Now I can show you from my side. Can you all see my screen? I came to my folder called Eclipse Test. There are a bunch of files here. The six commits so far. There are two people who are forked this. So when I click on it, I'm able to see both this source or forked project. So there's Eclipse Test hyphen one. So there are changes that are happening here and I could do a pull request and say I like what I see or you could push it and say Karthik do you want to take this so it says you know this was the change by Kiran this was the line added in green any deletion it will show in red with the minus sign there and I get to choose if that is accepted or not if I create this pull request from this, is, I'm doing it from my end team. I know that you fork my project. I know you're trying. I like what you're doing. So I am saying raising a pull request from my own side so that I can push this into my main code. Pull, it will fail. Very validation fail. You can perform that action at this time. Uh, able to merge. Maybe there's something going on. Create it. It's done actually. So if I go back to Eclipse tests uh, and I should be able to see some changes that were going on. I'll continue on this tomorrow team. Same things, what we do. Four, two. Eclipse test. And So this is done. This is from my main project. Pull request has come in. And uh, is this the one, my Git Java project one? This was yesterday's change. Even the latest one did not come to my main folder yet, team. Whatever you're doing, I'll show it more. But at least what others create you learned how to fork and use at your end. Then you can get pull requests to have them take your code later. 
Thank you, Pinky and Kiran. Really appreciate that you could share your screens and do a little bit there. It was really helpful to see it at your end. Because when we keep seeing it one end, especially these configuration tools for us, it's not that um, appealing. Any other questions, team? Let's continue tomorrow. We have a little bit more on GitHub and Git, and then we need to go into Jenkins and Docker. I'll kind of summarize on these concepts that we were doing. Jason recording, I think I did. Can you check, please, in YouTube? Did I not? Is maybe one day missing. If it is, just let me know on Skype if you don't mind. Please. Yeah, I'm it on YouTube for now. We have to move it into membership area. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Bye for now. We'll see you back tomorrow. Take care. Thank you.